So good to be here with you in Houston, Texas. My connection to Houston is uh, sort of tenuous, but because uh, I was born up in Minnesota, you know, up there. <laughs> And that's how come uh, I'm as white as I am, is because blood circulation disappeared a long time ago. And the reason I move sort of awkwardly is that frostbite has killed off uh, large parts of my, my body. I don't have any feeling in my feet, for example. And that's uh, how I am able to pound nails right through my feet into the, into the floor there. I used to do that for money in the carnival, and I'd just do it to you to demonstrate there. And got no feeling down there. My mother was from Minnesota, and Daddy was uh, from Texas. And Daddy just liked to shoot things. That was his hobby. He'd shoot anything. He'd shoot beer bottles. He'd shoot pheasants, of course. Shoot the side of a barn just to prove that it's good, you know. Yeah. Sometimes he just shoot himself in the foot because he didn't have any circulation there either. So, so he never bled or anything. Mama was a northern liberal, and um, she didn't care for country music. She loved Renaissance music. She taught us to play the, the sham and the sackbut as small children. She taught us to play tennis. And we always listened every Saturday night to the speeches of Franklin D. Roosevelt. All we have to fear is fear itself. And of course, we listened to many Pete Seeger recordings, one after the other. You gotta go down and join the union. You gotta join in by yourself. And like all liberal children, I played soccer, of course. And one day my dad came home from coon hunting and he saw me in my little soccer uniform and he got furious. What in the Sam Hill is going on here? What are you doing playing soccer? What kind of panty waist game is that? That's no American game, no hitting anybody. But dad, I mean it. it yeah, it, don't huh? you butt dad me. I'm sending but, you down to Texas so you can go out for football. So I came down to Houston, came down to the Audie Murphy High School, and I went out for football. And because my, my, my foot was frozen and it didn't hurt, I, I became a punter. Coming in to punt for Audie Murphy, number 13, Carson Weiler. This was the year that they played the Ernest Tubb High School, and I did a lot of punting that afternoon, deep in my own end zone all the time. And our defensive line was four slender boys, all of them English majors, and I got the punt off just, just as I got hit by three 450-pound linemen. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, that was a penalty on the play. Roughing the kicker, first down, Audie Murphy. And I went to the bench. Oh, oh, is this the right bench? Oh, where am I? Over here, over this way, Carson. Oh, you just got off a great putt and you drew a roughing the kicker penalty. You just did great. Oh. Now, yeah, now oh. you'll just be okay, okay. Now give him some oxygen here to slap my hand a few times. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Yep. Audie Murphy High School was down by seven touchdowns, but our demented coach would not let us quit. You've got to go in there and draw more roughing the kicker penalties, Wyler. That's the only way we can move the ball. Yes, sir. Do it. Up, up, up. Roughing the kicker, first down. So, we had a first down on Ernest Tubbs' 35-yard line, and my job was to kick a field goal to make the score 49 to three. Now look, you can do it, Carson. Oh. For the honor of Audie Murphy, for your teammates, oh. do it for Texas. The eyes of Texas are upon you. You're, You're the, the one they'll blame. blame. The eyes of Texas are upon you, so don't screw up the game. Come on, Wyler, come on. Oh, went out to kick a 45-yard field goal, and my placeholder was Marvin Willie. I'm not going to hold it for too long, okay? Okay. 
And the snap from center was kind of high and slow. And his five, 400 pound lineman came in. Marvin got the ball just as they stepped on him. And the ball leaked out, and I picked it up, and I ran as the lineman raced by. And I went for the goal line, and I crossed the goal line, and I kept going. I went all the way to the freeway. I got a ride with a trucker, took me to Tulsa. I hopped a freight to Chicago. Got to Chicago, I saw an ad in the paper for an aerial stuntman, so I, I rode on the wings of a Curtis Ingham biplane, doing loops and barrel rolls at air shows all the way up to Minnesota, where we crashed into the Mississippi River, and I was rescued by a beautiful blonde on water skis going by. Oh, my gosh. Take my hand! And ever since I returned to Minnesota, I've avoided anything dangerous like football. I, I love Renaissance music. And I love to play tennis. And I raise cats, the animal of choice for northern liberals. And I do this show, and I got to sing duets with gentle women, such as Christine... Dijon Leonardo. <laughs>